my garbage person of the week is a bit of a throwback. This person has been my garbage person many times. But I love when someone reveals themselves. Usually they do it accidentally in the present. But what if someone, one of the worst, most damaging, dangerous people in America had laid out the whole thing they were gonna do years in advance? Well, buckle up, cuz you gotta take a look at this video of Tucker Carlson from back in the day. Bill O'Reilly's success is built on the perception that he really is who he claims to be. If he ever gets caught out of character, it's over. That's right. I, I, I say before that that you know Bill O'Reilly's really talented. He's more talented than I am. You know he's got a lot more viewers than I do. He's a better communicator than I am. Uh, but I think there's kind of a deep phoniness at the center of his shtick. Uh, and again, as I say, the shtick is sort of built on this perception that he is the character he plays. He is every man. This kind of po he's not right wing. He's a populist this kind of Irish Catholic populist fighting for you against the powers that be. And that's great as a shtick, but I'm just saying the moment that it's revealed not to be true, it's over. The moment he gets caught, you know, slapping a flight attendant on the Concord for not bringing his champagne fast enough or barking at, you know, one of his subordinates to take the, you know, brown M&Ms out of my bowl and get me a bottle of Evian or something like that. The second that makes page six, it's over, right? Because the whole thing is predicated on the fact that he is who he says he is, and just nobody is that person, especially not someone who makes a million dollars, you know, or many millions a year. As he does. So what you are seeing is Tucker Carlson in real time figuring it out, figuring out the grift. He's got a lot more viewers than me, admittedly. But wait, how could I get all those viewers? How could I make a million dollars a year, or five, or ten, or God knows how many millions of dollars? What if I just did? exactly that thing. What if I convinced everyone, no, it's not that I'm a right winger, I'm just a populist. I care about you. Sure, I'm the heir to a fortune, but I care about you. I would never go near you, you're dirty, stay away from me, but I care about you. And the the only way that he was sort of wrong was the ability to pop the bubble. Like we can point out a million times that that's not really who he is, that he's he's faking it. He doesn't care about you. He's not interested in your wages. He doesn't care if you live or die. He's been very clear about that. Um, but people don't seem to actually get the message. Maybe, maybe the propaganda is more effective than it was in Bill O'Reilly's time. But he is doing the exact thing he just analyzed. He is telling on himself before even doing it. And it's just disappointing, Brett, that that people can't see through it, that they don't get that this is a guy of fancy dinner parties. This is a guy making references to like people cutting in line at the at, at skiing and stuff. This is a guy who will yell at the waitress on the Concord if and when they bring it back. He's wearing a bow tie. He's wearing a bow tie. He's wearing a bow yeah. tie. And and the thing is, the only the problem with Tucker is it, it reveals that he's the populists are not the ones behind Tucker Carlson. That's not it. Because he's he's not believable. Bill O'Reilly was just a camel faced schmuck who just talked about, like complained in a very complainy voice yeah. all the time. He just looked like someone's dad at a you know at a, who has kind of a white colored job, but like has a barbecue and and will grill a you know something on it at some point. Tucker Carlson looks like it like a character from School Ties. Like he is the rich boarding school kid whose defining factor is he's an elitist. And the thing he actually cares about is being an anti-Semite, being a white supremacist, being part of a club that you can't be in. Yeah. That's that's his appeal. There's no one out there that likes Tucker Carlson because he's a populist. Who are those people? Do they watch Fox News? No. Those are the people that that are like, I don't really care about the populist thing. I only ever cared about being a white supremacist, about you telling me that people are out to call white people the victims, yeah. even though they're not. How could they be? Their leader, Tucker Carlson, at this point is the heir to the Swanson fortune. His his uh, great uncle is the Fulbright from the Fulbright scholarship. He mm -hmm. looked down on a country club in the house he grew up in, in La Jolla, California, and that's it. Yeah, you're 100% right. No, he, and, and then what they don't get is that he will lay out like, no, you're in the club, you're you're white, you're great. Here's the thing, no matter how white you are, no matter how pale your skin, that's not the club that he cares about. If you're poor, he doesn't give a damn about you. You're not hanging out with him. Approach him at Bass Pro Shop, see how that goes. Anyway, that is my garbage person.
he revealed himself and I loved it. Uh, now, 39,000 of you voted for the community garbage person of the week. And here are your top five for this week. Coming in at number five with 6% of the vote is Greg Gutfeld for blaming Greta Thunberg for Russia's attacks on Ukraine. Coming in number four with 10% of the vote is Sean Hannity for encouraging NATO to bomb Russians indiscriminately. And then just say, hey, it wasn't us. Anyway, uh, number uh, three is going to be with 17% of the vote, Marjorie Green for speaking at a white supremacist rally. Really, that's just number three? You weirdos. Number two, 18% of the vote goes to Ron DeSantis for berating children for wearing face masks. But the winner with an even half of the vote, Lauren Boebert for heckling Biden as he spoke about his dead son. Let me add on how right you are. She interrupted him while talking about uh, soldiers who die from like respiratory illnesses and cancers. Uh, the Honoring Our Pact Act was designed to give them coverage for that. She just voted against it in the last day. So even worse than just the rhetoric, she's also wrong on the substance. And that is your garbage person of the week. Thank you to everyone who voted. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.